All right, let's do some trailer brakes. I already got the hubs off and cleaned up. Went ahead and kept my hubs instead of getting all new ones. It said made in USA. So I figured I'd keep those. ATL, Georgia. I'm already going to throw Chinese bearings in there. So um, let's just keep the American stuff I figured. Uh, tore those down, knocked the races out yesterday. Cleaned them up a little bit. So I got to put the races in. Over here, looks like I have a little lip on the seal surface right there. Um, looks like a bearing was spinning right there. It's a little bit of surface for us. Clean that up. See if I can get that lip knocked down a little bit. Um, got some fine sandpaper. I'm going to sand that down. See if it does anything. If not, I'm just going to throw it back together. It's just a trailer. Um, take a look at the bearings more than every eight years, maybe. Take a look at them more than every eight years. But anyway, uh, we'll get to work and I'll come back in a second. All right, we're back. Um, sanded that stuff up a little bit with that fine sandpaper. A little bit of uh, surface rust I could feel there is gone. You can still kind of see that coloration. Um, with gloves on, I don't really feel anything. I'm sure it's there. It's microscopic because... It's lower where that dark, there it focus, where it's dark, that dark line, it's probably where the seal lip had run and uh, worn it down a little bit. And as I was sanding, I couldn't take that uh, discoloration of that surface rust or that wear line out of it. I can't really feel it, now I'm wearing these gloves, but I can't really feel it with my nail um, underneath it while I'm wearing them. So uh, the seal should still be able to make good contact if I can't feel it with my nail. I didn't want to get too aggressive on sanding and take too much metal because then it wouldn't seal at all. Alright, I got to put the races in the hubs and I got this uh, race and seal install kit so maybe, maybe one will fit and we won't have to bash it in there with a punch or a big socket or something but Here's your bearing set. These have the same size bearings, outer and inner, both one and a sixteenth. And your race just comes on top of the bearing like that. And your race just sits right in there. And you want to bang that thing in. That one looks like it's going to be perfect. I'll assemble this and grab a hammer and come back. All right, I'm back, got a hammer, got the race installer. Um, basically, you're just gonna tap this gently. I'm gonna need two hands to guide it in, so um, I'm gonna put the camera down while I bang that back in and bring you back. Basically, you're gonna set this race down inside the hub. All right, so I tapped it in there. This goes in there, you seat it down all the way bang it down in there you can hear it you bang it till your hammer um the noise it'll make uh, will stop as you bottom out you want to bottom that race all the way down into there i'm gonna flip it over grab the other race set it in there you want your taper out otherwise you won't get the bearing in there you know bang this one seat this one in there and uh here right there is the hammer that's the banging changed its uh pitch meaning it was seated all in so there's the races in there i'm gonna go pack bearings 
um, get grease in your palm, and then you take the Baron with your other hand and pack it in there. Um, so let me go get some grease out of the tub and I'll be right back. All right, change of scenery. It started to drizzle on me a little bit, and I didn't want uh, water inside my clean hub and inside these bearings. So I'm going to see if this will turn out on camera. Put your grease in your palm like that, bearing small end down, and just start uh, packing it in like that till it comes out of the top. You should see it like that. Uh, focus. Well, this isn't looking very good, but right there you can. And it's like too lit up behind it. There, yeah. You can kind of see it between the cage and the inside of the bearing can't see it we're gonna have to go with it I'm trying to get this thing done before it rains get the hub all back up seal installed and back on the trailer tire on well maybe not tire on because I want to get the other side done too before the rain now I'll uh, pause this while we All right, I got the bearing back to one side. Uh, excuse the cat. So we're going to go ahead and put them in. Start with the back side first because I got to install the seal. Back side that way. Flip it over. Taper on your bearings goes down. Get your seal. Open end. Goes down. And we'll take our seal installer. I can't take the nut off because my hands are greasy. this nut off. I'll flip it from race to bearing. Sorry, race to seal side. You want that flat side so you don't gall up the inside of the seal. Just snug that up and tap it down, but this isn't a workbench, so I'm going to go down here to tap it. All right, we're back. Terrible lighting, I'm sure. You can kind of see as I put the seal flush to the hub. That's yeah, better light. I'm going to move the camera here in a second. I want it flush right on the outside edge. Um, anyway, we're going to set this up, install it on the trailer. All right, there's my stub on the trailer. your hub. Hope I'm not blocking any of this. I just normally put a little bit of grease on the inside. All right, I'm back. It's a couple days later. The seals on that kit weren't the right one for this axle. So I had to get a larger diameter um, seal 
this thing. That's on there like that. Got the outer bearing. And the outer bearing goes right inside there. And then you need the castle nut. There's the cast. There's the castle nut and washer. Go clean them off for a second. All right, I put the washer inside there. Castle nut goes on next. You want to snug this thing down till you can't really spin the spin the hub anymore. I snugged it down really tight. This is obviously too tight. I'm trying to preload the bearings. Then you're gonna back it off till it's really hand tight, just a little more than hand tight. And you gotta find the hole, the next hole that the cotter pin goes through or else it'll spin off if you don't put the cotter pin. And it'll eventually uh, come loose on you. That's good right there. Put that through. in this cotter pin so that the castle nut can't spin off. All right, I uh, tighten that down. I always bend one out and one around. You just tap your dust cover on. Tap it in easy because these things are just uh, sheet metal. And that one's done. Throw the tire on there, and we'll do the other side, and that's it. That's how you uh, would say repack, but I replaced the bearing, so that's how you do bearing replace on a utility trailer without an axle, without without a, without a brake. Axle brake is what I should have said. All right, I'm back. I got a hammer. The race installer. Um, basically, you're just gonna tap this gently. I'm gonna need two hands to guide it in, so um, I'm gonna put the camera down while I bang that back in and bring you back. Basically, you're gonna set this race down inside the hub. All right, so I tapped it in there. This goes in there. You seat it down all the way. Bang it down in there. You can hear it. You bang it till your hammer. Um, the noise it'll make uh, will stop as you bottom out. You want to bottom that race all the way down into there. I'm going to flip it over. Grab the other race. Set it in there. You want your taper out. Otherwise, you won't get the bearing in there. And I'll bang this one and seat this one in there. And... Uh, You can hear right there is the hammer. That's the banging. Changed its uh, pitch, meaning it was seated all in. So there's the races in there. I'm going to go pack bearings. Um, get grease in your palm. And you take the bearing with your other hand and 
pack it in there. Um, so let me go get some grease out of the tub and I'll be right back. All right, change of scenery. It started to drizzle on me a little bit and I didn't want uh, water inside my clean hub and inside these bearings. So I'm gonna see if this will turn out on camera. Put your grease in your palm like that, bearing small end down, and just start uh, packing it in like that until it comes out of the top. You should see it like that. Uh, focus. Well, this isn't looking very good, but right there you can. And it's like too lit up behind it. There, yeah. You can kind of see it between the cage and the inside of the bearing. Can't see it. We're just going to have to go with it. I'm trying to get this thing done before it rains. Get the hub all back up, seal installed, and back on the trailer. Tire on. Well, maybe not tire on, because I want to get the other side done too before the rain. And I'll uh, pause this while he... All right, I got the bearing back to one side. Uh, excuse the cat. So we're going to go ahead and put them in. Start with the back side first because I got to install the seal. The back side that way. Flip it over. Taper on your bearings goes down. Get your seal. Open end goes down. And we'll take our seal installer. Nut off because my hands are greasy. Alright, take this nut off. I'll flip it from race to bearing. Sorry, race to seal side. You want that flat side so you don't gall up the inside of the seal. Just snug that up and tap it down, but this isn't a workbench, so I'm going to go down here to tap it. All right, we're back. Terrible lighting, I'm sure. You can kind of see as I put the seal flush to the hub. That's yeah, better light. I'm gonna move the camera here in a second. I want it flush right on the outside edge. Um, anyway, we're gonna set this up, install it on the trailer. All right, there's my stub on the trailer. Take your hub. Hope I'm not blocking any of this. I just normally put a little bit of grease on the inside.